A suicide epidemic. An average of 20 veterans commit suicide every day. That's according to new information from the Department of Veterans Affairs. To get our heroes the help they need, an organization was started by retired U.S. Navy SEAL Marcus Luttrell, the subject of the hit movie Lone Survivor. The Lone Survivor Foundation has an upcoming event right here in OKC. We are joined now by Dustin Conover, an Oklahoma veteran with the Lone Survivor Foundation. And you were telling me a little bit off camera why you are so passionate about this very special foundation. Well, I'm incredibly passionate about this organization simply because I had gone to the Oklahoma VA on five different occasions and uh, I was told that I wasn't eligible for any of the services there, even though I was an honorably discharged veteran, had served uh, 14 years in the United States Army. Um, I, at that point, was uh, near suicide um, from some of my experiences having served overseas and in, in not just the Middle East but also in the Balkans. Um, I uh, was quite honestly uh, at the end of my rope and I had nowhere else to turn. Um, I was on the VA's suicide hotline actually uh, after that fifth um, Rejection. Fifth, fifth rejection, yeah, and uh, uh, they hung up on me, which apparently is a common experience for some veterans now. Um, I came across a friend who was familiar with uh, the Lone Survivor Foundation, having served with Marcus Luttrell on a SEAL team, and uh, I had seen the movie at that time as well, and I reached out to the Lone Survivor Foundation, and I was given a call almost immediately, within a few days, um, and they helped me. They helped me when nobody else would. And they uh, were able to provide some services that the VA doesn't even offer to this day. Um, I have made some tremendous friends. It offered my wife uh, support um, through the wives of, of other veterans similar to me, mm -hmm. um, all the way from special forces officers down to uh, your basic enlisted army private. Um, my children were allowed to be involved in some of the retreats, the, the restorative holistic retreat, retreats that we were um, attending, and uh, they occur throughout the country, wherever they can really find a place to sure. put us up. And um, it, it was just a tremendous experience, but my, my wife was able to learn um, about my traumatic brain injury and the pain management uh, that I required and also with uh, the PTSD that I had uh, serving as a medic for as long as I did. Um, and we in return have been able to help others and last year and this year I've helped the Lone Survivor Foundation to uh, give back, so to speak, uh, to what Marcus and the foundation have been able to do for me and my family. Um, I'm here because of him uh, and his foundation and uh, my wife uh, and our marriage is much stronger because of it and my relationship with my children um, who are in the back watching here. They are, they, we have an audience. They, uh, they're much better off because wow. of it as well. It sounds like your life completely different than when you were rejected on that phone call to what you see as a man right now, thanks to the Lone Survivor Foundation. And I know there's, I know we're running out of time, but there's an event coming up that I'm honored to be a part of. Tell our viewers a little bit about the Lone Survivor events that we're gonna be having and what it means to you. Okay, the Lone Survivor event is gonna be held in the uh, public farmer market, uh, farmer's market area rather, um, on Klein Avenue. Uh, August 13th, uh, beginning at 5.30. Um, tickets are available to anyone that wants to attend. Uh, we encourage um, military veterans, of course, uh, to attend. And uh, it may be a great opportunity for them to learn about the foundation sure. and what it provides. All services that the foundation provides to veterans are absolutely free. Uh, that's why we have these galas. We don't want a veteran who needs care and treatment to be um, forced to accept the financial burden of, of attending um, a retreat where they can quite honestly change their lives and change their, their family's life and, and that culture. But it's important to me because, again, when no one would, uh, it seemed like no one would help me, um, I was offered a, a helping hand by the Lone Survivor Foundation and they accepted me and my family into the organization and um, as a result, 
we're, we're able to return the, right. the favor and help, help others. Dustin, so. thank you so much for coming on. Thank you. Sharing your story that I know is not easy to share publicly, but more than that, thank you so much for your service and for what you've done for our country and now paying it forward <laughs> when, when you didn't have to. You've already, you've already paid it forward, <laughs> so we certainly thank you, and thank I'm you. honored, honored to be a part of the upcoming event. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. Thank you very much.